In this video, I will be explaining how you can fix this minified React error. So when you get this error, you also get some extra information in the console. So for example, you will get this kind of error message which says minified React error visit HTTPS React org for the full message. So let us go to that URL and then see what happens. So you can see that it is saying there was an error file hydrating because error happened outside of a suspense boundary the entire route will switch to client rendering and there are different variations of this error like uh, variation 423 then 418 and 425 and most of these variations are related to one thing and that is called as hydration so if you're using the next year's application you must be aware about the SSR and the CSR, server-side rendering and client-side rendering. A component renders on the server and then the same component renders on the client and then they are compared before the hydration process kicks in. So if the CSR and SSR, this output is not matching, the render output is not matching, then in that case, these kinds of errors will happen. But in this case, What's happening is that this error happens mostly in production only. Okay, It doesn't happen in the development. And the reason for this is that there are some scripts that run in only production. For example, uh, I was using Google AdSense script and that was running only in production. That's why the error was happening only in production. So in your case as well, there is some code that is running only in the production and not in the development environment. That is why in development environment, you are not able to reproduce these issues. These issues are only happening in the production. So to fix this, what you have to do is that you have to disable the scripts one by one that are there in your application. So that is one thing. And also uh, there are some cases where date format is different from the server to the client. So if you are trying to display the or render the date, the format may be different based upon the local settings of the server and the client. And that's why this error might also come. So basically, in short, what is happening is that SSR and CSR output is not matching. And that is why these kinds of errors are happening. So basically, what you have to do is that to fix this issue, find the JavaScript code that is running only in the production environment and not in the development environment because that's why this error is happening only in the production. So try to find out what scripts you are loading in the production environment and try to disable that. Not just the external script, it can be your own code as well that is running only in the production. So basically you have to find out that code and then start uh, like you know disabling that code and then one by one you will be able to find out like which script is causing that problem. So in my case what was happening is that this Google AdSense script was causing the problem. So what I did is that I had this code here in the underscore document.js file. So this is a special file in the Nexus application which allows you to add the external scripts in the HTML head. So the problem with this is that if you use this particular script in this underscore document.js this gets rendered on the server and it doesn't render on the client side and that's why there is a mismatch there is a high duration errors so to fix that what i did is that i commented this and basically i moved this to this particular component head component which comes from this model next slash head and here i am specifically checking that this particular script should be loaded only on the client side where window is not equal to undefined and also I'm checking that it should be running in the production because I don't want to load the ads or I don't want to load the script in the development environment but the thing is that what, it's, what I'm doing here is that I'm not running per this particular script or loading this particular script on the server side and that's why what's happening is that SSR and CSR are matching and no more hydration errors so in your case as well, you can take similar steps to fix the issue. If you have more questions, let me know through the comments. Thank you for watching.